Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Delon Dixon, and today I'm going to show you all how to set up usage tracking for your Google Data Studio dashboards. Well, they're now called Looker Studio dashboards. But uh, the way you can do that is actually adding a Google Analytics tag to the Looker dashboard. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Then uh, just a little background on why I even wanted to do this is because one of my customers had asked me, uh, they wanted to know who was using the dashboards, how often users were looking at them, like what were the top dashboards being viewed? And I honestly was like, I'm not sure. And so I did a little bit of digging and I saw that the only way that you can track uh, Looker Data Studio dashboard usage or Google Data Studio dashboard usage is by adding a Google Analytics tag to your uh, your property itself. And then it pulls the data in, you can see what are the top pages or top dashboards users are using and how long they're staying on there. So it gives you a nice little uh, over, overview of the top engagement for that dashboard. So without further ado, let's dive into the fun stuff. Here we go, share my screen. So this is just an example looker uh, dashboard that I'm gonna set up the tracking for. So it's a YouTube data dashboard and then the Google Analytics data, data dashboard. And uh, this is my test environment that I use for my videos. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna create an account in Google Analytics. So I'm just gonna create a test account right here. Yeah, let's name it Intep test environment. And then uh, none of this stuff really matters. It's just showing like how you wanna share your data. And I got some documentation too uh, on some links on how to do this, uh, just in case you need help from Google. Next. And uh, for this case, I'm actually gonna do a Google Analytics 4, GA4 uh, setup with this, just because once it sunsets uh, the normal GA uh, analytics platform, I wanna be able to just have it automatically working. So we'll say, uh, and then next, select your industry. We'll say science, small, and then other, create, then yeah, say it's accept. Okay. So uh, now what we're gonna do, now that we're here, had the property created, the next thing I'm gonna do is start collecting data. So I'm gonna do web and I'm gonna just name it the tech test reports. And then I'm gonna copy, just grab this URL right here, paste it in there, enter. Oh, got to get rid of the HTTPS and then create stream. So this actually, yeah, so it's going to give you a prompt saying like data isn't being collected, but it's okay because all we have to do is uh, get this measurement ID and then go to the report itself. Go to edit, file, report settings. And then we can just paste that tag in there and then view. And now it should uh, start tracking. And just a heads up too, you can add a GA4 tag and an original uh, UA tag too from Google Analytics, depending on which uh, platform you're using or which type of tagging you're using. So you'll be able to use both of those if you want. And you can only add one of each to each report or each uh, dashboard. And so it's because I added it to the entire report, it's gonna pull an activity on both of these uh, both of these pages. And so let me just exit out of this. And it says no data received in the past 48 hours. It should take a little bit to uh, bring it in. It should be in here in like the next like 35 minutes or so. That's what it did last time I did it with the test run. But uh, just for additional testing, uh, let me grab a link of this. This is what I like to do just to see how fast it actually starts tracking. So what I'm gonna do is just make a copy link to this report. And I'm gonna change it to say it's uh, unlisted. So anyone who has a link can access this report, save that. 
And then I'm going to open up an incognito tab. Just head in there. And go to the dashboard. And then click around. And I'm going to move this over here. And I'm actually going to go back to Google Analytics to see if we see any live data coming in yet. So not yet. Give it a refresh. I said it does take some time to get in here. Okay, cool. And we see there's one user already in the last 30 minutes. Go to reports. Should be able to see more stuff for today. Bye. Yep, so we have that one user in here. That's uh, me in there, an incognito tab. And uh, you can also see like the pages. So if you go to engagement, pages and screens. Okay, this hasn't loaded yet, but uh, you'll be able to see this quick and easy. And uh, it's super helpful just to get a better understanding of which dashboard users are using the most or which reports they're looking at the most. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments. And as you know, I do all these videos in one take, no edits at all. So thank you for joining. And uh, I'll be making some more videos soon too. And I hope you all had a happy new year. Talk to you soon.